so it's got some it's got to live up to it's got to live up i mean this is the amped up version this is the amped up version of something we've already tried that's correct this is the the mega version mega, of something we've yes. had this is the this is the sharknado of Ooh. oatmeal coffee no, right it's uh, hopefully it's better than that uh, this is a imperial stout right from modern times beer Correct. That is what we have. Let's give it a shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And what we have today is from Modern Times Brewing. brewery. Also, yeah. Beer. Brewery. Also, yeah. coffee roaster. Uh, yeah, but in this true. case, we're going to have some of their beer. And it's their Mega Black House Coffee Oatmeal Imperial Stout coming in at 10% alcohol. It's a special release. Uh, I was actually able to get this while I was in California a couple of weeks ago um, at Olive Tree Market. Once again, courtesy of, uh, maybe I already picked it out and then I think Mike approved. Oh, okay. So, in, yeah, he, so he said this was a special release. I actually have a special release of another one of theirs too at the house too. It's a bummer. So oh, I bought another intrigued. one. It was one of their lighter ones. But, okay. Um, so this uses their, uh, it uses actually their, their coffee blend of 75% Ethiopian Hambla? I've yeah, never even I heard believe, of Hambla. I have not. I'm assuming it's another area yeah, in Ethiopia. Nice. And Sumatra Mandaling, which we're very familiar with. Very much. Also has uh, two-row roasted barley, flaked barley, pale chocolate malt, I guess, right? Yep. Uh, Crystal 60, Crystal 120, Munich, oats, dark chocolate, bark. Oh, bark. Let's start again. Black barley and midnight wheat. Holy crap! Uh, midnight, there. yeah, uh, the familiar with most of those things. Okay, especially nice. midnight wheat. Love the midnight right. wheat and the dark, oh, dark chocolate, little crystal six. Yeah, that is. This should be a big, thick, lip smacky, son of a gun. So what, what we were looking be. at as um, in September of last year, we reviewed their uh, Black House Stout, just their their normal their year round. I think year it's in a release. can. Yep. Yeah, and uh, we gave it a two, so that means we liked we, it. Quite we a bit. liked it. So, um, so we're coming back to this one. This is a, a vegan beer. And if I haven't mentioned it already, it's a 10%. <laughs> and it's uh, caffeine-free. What, what did you pay for it? Uh, I think it's right on top. It is. $9.69 Ow. for a 22-ounce bomber. Yeah, yeah once again, like when I go to, when well, and I think you're sort of, you're the same way. When we go to California, we're looking to buy beers uh, that we can't get here. And it, as of right now, we can't get Modern Times uh, beers here. No. Which is as Hopefully that'll change. And actually it worked out okay because like last year, one of my destination stops was Alpine Brewing. It wasn't a destination this year because they are now available in Tucson. Uh, even if it's just on tap, I, I know. I was going to say, I've seen it a little bit, not yes, a lot there, yet. Uh, so it'll be more, but you can get them here. And then also, too, it... it it took a little of the sting off because it was Monday and they're closed Mondays. So I couldn't have stopped there, even oh, had okay. I wanted to. But uh, anyway, so... but yeah. So what you're saying is when you go to California, you eventually start bringing back the breweries to Arizona. I'm hoping. By drawing them in. I hope we, so. We've, we been hope giving, so. We've been giving them enough promotion lately. Well, <laughs> it helped. Yeah. Come this way. Well, because uh, Green Flash bought... Alpine Brewing. Correct. And Green Flash was already, already had a presence in Arizona. So, um, anyways, yeah. ergo, now Alpine is available in Arizona. So, Alpine is still brewing separately. It was more of a Correct. it was more of a venture of yeah. We've been partners before. They had helped them previously. Yes. Do some contract yes. brewing for them to like, you know, boost up some of their uh, production. Right. So now it's kind of more of a mutual beneficial type thing. Right. So and that's good. That is uh, that is dark, dark. Nice little brown head on there. I can't really even see. It looks fantastic. I'm sure there's carbonation, but I can't see it. Yeah, no, and that's, that's how you want. That's how you want a stout. Oh yeah. That's oh my. Oh man. I hope heaven smells that good. That is coffee. Oh, dear God. That is coffee. That's so, so There's a little chocolate in there, too. The chocolate in there comes through definitely. Like I said, coffee first. Really good coffee aroma. Because yeah. you can tell when people use crap. <laughs> we, right. We've had a beer like that, unfortunately, which we won't name right now. But no. We've had stuff like that. Because everything like, else they did is great. Yeah, so we won't even yeah, want to get into that. But, that. but yeah, like I said, it's not, that smells really good on the coffee. And then, yeah, the chocolate just really comes mm. through. The little roasty comes through. Right. Oh, my God. This is everything I love about a stout. And so your brewing knowledge has told us that the, the 1019 Final Gravity tells us that this will probably be sweet. It should be. And and just it from what we would know. It should yeah, be thick. We, we would, we would, we would thick, think thick, chewy little anyway, adventure. So. Yeah, chewy. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not talking about Chewbacca. 
No, <laughs> it's not a Chewbacca. <laughs> a chewy little adventure. A little chewy adventure. That's <laughs> why Han Solo didn't mind being alone with Chewbacca. No. It's a chewy adventure. Oh my God. Too funny. You're upset? I'm upset. I should have had another one of these. <laughs> <laughs> if I would have bought another one of these, it would so you're be saying when I go out, well, perfect. It already will have passed when this comes out. Yeah, see if you can get one. But as we are talking about it, I have not left for a trip. So if I see yes. this, you would want another one. Is that what you're telling me? I think this. Would I mean, be I would great. get one for myself, so you would want another one. I will take another one. Of okay. These. Yeah. All right. This I have this on record. Right delicious. Here. I mean, it's delicious right now, but, but in especially six months, oh my gosh, and especially when it's cold and. Just think about this at Christmas. And we picked a nice, I think we picked the perfect, we were wondering what, what glassware we should use for this. And yeah, good call. We did a good job. Good call on picking these this out. I, said, I was looking at Snifter-ish. We were looking for maybe something yeah. like a snifter, but this, uh, yeah, I love this. These uh, stone tasting glasses. You said yeah, they, they are. Yeah, they call them their great. tasting glasses. We got these this is several years ago. Perfect. Perfect Actually, size. I think you even mentioned Old Guardian barley wine on here. Old I Guardian. didn't even notice that. Yeah. yeah. That is, uh, Wow. coffee the chocolate the roasty everything blends in there amazing it's almost like a balance of dark and milk chocolate because i get something that's kind of more that bittersweet kind of at the end but in the beginning i get more of the milk chocolatey creamy yeah um because you know what's great is it's sweet but it's not and and there's a little resin yeah a little bit but it's not overly so it's It's, yeah it may be perfect wow it's so good Wow, God, it is so good. Oh, that is it's so freaking oh good. God. That is. We talked about having a swear podcast, and I'd really like to this. Play could, some this of those could out be right on now. the this swear podcast right now. Holy, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here we go right now. Kids, leave the room. Yeah, get your kids out. Yeah, turn on, turn yeah. down the podcast. Like your kids are really watching the beer. Well, we had that discussion. Yeah, earlier, <laughs> that was, although that was funny. Um, wow, that's delicious. This is the kind of yeah. The fire's going in the chimney. It's cold outside. Oh man! Uh, See now, already when you've said that, I'm thinking of Thanksgiving. I have Thanksgiving. so many, right. so many great right. memories of Thanksgiving at your house, just sitting outside, hanging right. out with Joe, hanging out with Darren, Kristen's relatives. Whoever, yeah. Like I said, just hanging out. Yep. And just little, and yeah. The this, fire going. The kids wanting to throw stuff in the fire. We keep telling yes. them maybe no. Yes. Probably not. And wow. And yeah. we need a couple of bottles of these. The, yeah. The memory I have too. Speaking of, uh, speaking of that, the memory I have too of that is. I, I want to say it was for Thanksgiving probably two years ago now when it was the uh, Tartar Darkness. Was that two years ago already? Wow. It definitely it wasn't was. last year. So I'm guessing it was two years I ago. I still have a Tartar Darkness at home. I think I have one as well. And yeah, I, you're right. I think and, it was and, two and years I think ago. Th- I think that's the one that actually kind of started to turn Joe around, our brother Joe. Oh, to the Sours? Into going into the Sours. Okay. So I remember you opened that because you were kind of like, well, I don't, and I was like, come on, I want to have that. And so yeah. it was like, we were like, all right, well, if he doesn't like it, we'll finish his oh, part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that, that was the one where it's kind of like, oh, okay. Because now he like, saw. we've turned. We've he turned saw the benefits <laughs> of the turned, of Darkness. Yeah. It just finally took that like. It's a beer, but it's not a beer. Like I think that right. was the thing that, like I think, always kind of confounds people at first because they're used yeah. to a certain type of flavor profile out of a beer, and that doesn't yeah. fit that. But my God, this is delicious. Yeah, this is just you just want to hang. You. It's funny you want to drink it, but you want to savor it. And you want to yeah. drink it. There's still more in here. And honestly, for what this beer is at at less than ten bucks, that's that's a pretty damn good price. This is for really, what it is. Once again, it's twenty two ounces of beer. And it's ten dollars, and I understand that's a lot of money for twenty-two ounces of beer. But yeah, but it's also ten percent. It's not like you want four right, of these. Right. You know, like I said, that's no. always the thing too. Sometimes not, when you not pay, in one sitting. <laughs> I do that's want true. four of these. Yeah, but I don't that's want the things. Them. Like I said, sometimes when you try things that are lighter in flavor, you're like, oh, I have a couple of these. It's like, oh, I just paid twelve dollars for that four pack. Right. You know, it's like. I shouldn't have a couple of those. Like I said, this is like that price point where, right. You know, splitting between the two of us, five bucks for. A fuller size glass, you know, a piece. That's, I mean, that's pretty good. That's just, that's just fantastic. I, we don't have enough glowing things to say about this beer. No, this is great. I mean, we love their original, but I think this one even. I I, that would be a notes, great comparison wow. to. Uh, yeah. To have well, you know, I've got the notes right here. <laughs> Your final sentence was an easy drinking stout enhanced by lower alcohol content. Oh wow! <laughs> so not lower alcohol content. No, not on this, on this one. one. No, but 10%. actually, it's interesting. I would say what was the alcohol based on the uh, five point eight. Oh wow! Okay, 
So they almost doubled that. Um, yeah. I would say, based on just a quick referencing of our previous notes, I should say your notes, but our conversation uh, looking at that, is that more coffee and roasty came through and not as much of the chocolate. So I would say in the doubling of this, we're getting more of the chocolate balancing in there. Right. Because you mentioned that chocolate came through first, I mean, uh, coffee came through first, then roasty, and then you're like, and then some, like, so it seemed like chocolate was the third thing. Yeah, the chocolate. Whereas for on this, on every smell, I would say it was almost even par. Right. Kind of with everything that it right. came through. Wow. I know I'm feeling warm and toasty. That's right. And uh, there's wow. nothing more warm and toasty than going to aboutbeverages.com and wow. looking at the tasting I don't want to notes. About, it's funny, warm and toasty on a on a hundred degree night. I know. Well, at least there's air conditioning in here right That's now. That's true. We don't okay. notice that it's probably like That's when, right. you, when you That's leave right. to go home tonight. Right. <laughs> It'll be still 90 degrees outside. Man, it's still good. Oh, wow. It is. It is delicious. And uh, yeah, definitely we'll have a link to their website at our website, aboutbeverages.com, where you can uh, find out all the other great things that they do. Um, and like I said, read the tasting notes that we will have for this, find out how high this hits on our recommendation scale. And uh, while you're there, definitely uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube so you'll uh, find out uh, firsthand when all those episodes come out. And you can uh, watch them and play some comments there. Let us know if you've had this beer or some of their other things, what you think of modern times. Right. Uh, we can't imagine that it's anything negative because we don't have too much negative to say about them at all. We do not. No. Thanks and, to uh, Mike again at, uh, at Olive Tree Market. We yeah, appreciate the... He said that was okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knighted this one. He said, yep, good job. He chance. approved. Yes. He approved. Ding. And uh, it is delicious. But whether we like it or not, you should definitely give it a shot. <laughs>